I'm Amber Marsala with SCN Corporate Connect. We're here today in Miami at the North American Bitcoin Conference. I'm here now with Harrison Gross from Lucid. So Harrison, tell us about your company. All right, so Lucid is a new optical hardware company building next-gen smart glasses. Cool. Uh, we were founded by uh, an IP investment firm that's public in the UK called Tech Capital. They gave us 600K seed and gave us these 13 augmented reality patents to start with. Wow. Um, so this, our technology actually came out of UCF Optics Lab. Uh, we licensed it from them. And we're looking to build a next-gen smart glass with a P2P blockchain app store. Cool. Yeah. That's really exciting. So how long have you been in this space and how did you get involved? Uh, well, this is only three months old, but uh, I was actually working at the IP investment firm uh, prior and I was, I was sort of instilled into Lucid to uh, oversee the project. Uh, I'm, I work in the media mostly on the media side, uh, but I also do a little bit of the user experience development and community management as well. Okay. Uh, so a few different little things I do for Lucid. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a new company. We're really excited to be here in Miami. At That's the, uh, great. Blockchain conference. Yeah. So how is Lucid utilizing the blockchain technology? All right, so we're creating a open, a decentralized marketplace where devs can create new content like apps or media and sell directly to users instead of having an intermediary like Apple or the Google Store, which takes like traditionally like 30% of the dev's revenue. Uh, instead, the devs are going to get to keep all of their revenue and just pay small transaction fees on the uh, on the tokens that they collect. Oh wow, that sounds very unique. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, basically, by distributing uh, the control of the ecosystem to the user base, you know, we can democratize content the content that uh, is on our platform, and we can let users decide uh, what content does well and what content gets removed from the ecosystem. Awesome. Yeah. Now I know that you have a current ICO. Can you talk about that? Yeah, we're uh, we're live in the ICO now until the end of February. Uh, we're looking to raise about 10 million, which is what we need to get to a hardware beta. Um, we're about one million in. Uh, we really just broke through like two, three weeks ago on mainstream media. It's such a new company, you know. Right. Uh, we only started in September, and we've been marketing hard since then. Uh, and we're finally uh, getting getting some traction in the space, in both yeah. the AR space and in the crypto space. So it's a pretty exciting time for us. That is exciting. Yeah. Now, how has this event been for you overall? Uh, pretty good. We connected with a lot of uh, a lot of investors, a lot of other blockchain companies uh, that. But basically, we actually foresee a really high level of connectivity with other Ethereum projects, okay. and other ERC-20 tokens, because you'll be able to access most of these platforms through our platform. And uh, we're envisioning sort of an app that lets you convert our token to whatever token you need at the moment, okay. uh, just kind of like automatically. Yeah. So we're envisioning that like uh, any dev can really clip, uh, clip on their content or clip on their software onto our platform uh, very easily. We're trying to be very like developer-facing, very community-facing, uh, make it so that everyone can get the most out of our hardware. That's really exciting. Sounds like yeah. there's a lot of potential, and I wish you yeah, the best of luck with it. Yeah, thank you so much. I really appreciate you uh, taking a minute to talk to me about it. Thanks. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much. Right. I'm Amber Marsala, and you're watching SCN Corporate Connect.